When Sandy Sajito was diagnosed with breast cancer, she was devastated. First thought, I couldn't believe I drew that card from the deck. Um, you know, I had no risk factors going in. I have no family history and I was still, it wasn't real for a while. But reality set in fast when her doctors said they needed to remove the cancer forming in her body. Sandy took part in a clinical trial to test out a new technology that gives surgeons the ability to visualize cancer cells in real time while they operate. Wow, we've headed into Superman realm. You have the x-ray vision. Not quite. It's better than x-ray vision, according to Dr. Samuel Achalefo, a professor of radiology at Washington University who developed the technology. Achalefo says that in a conventional lumpectomy, surgeons rely on scans taken before the procedure to decide how much tissue to remove. He says differentiating between healthy cells and cancer cells is hard, which is why surgeons remove an excess amount of healthy tissue when operating. Okay, and even towel? when erring on the side of caution, up to 25% of patients need a repeat a procedure one. to remove more cancerous tissue. The primary goal of the technology is to make sure that the surgeon does not operate in the blind. Um, is to make the cancer cells light up like Christmas trees. The system works by first injecting the patient with a cancer-targeting dye that attaches to abnormal cells. Then a near-infrared light is beamed on the target area, which allows a surgeon wearing specialized glasses to see the cancer cells glowing. What this does then is to conserve the healthy tissues and only go after the ones that are abnormal. Currently, the cancer glasses are being trialed on skin and breast cancer patients, but Dr. Achalefo says they can be used to visualize and remove a wide range of cancers. He says lighting up cancer means a brighter future for people diagnosed with the deadly disease.